So I recently went to the mythical markets and they encouraged people to get dressed up. So I decided to go as a flower fairy. Um, I have already posted a tutorial on the wand that I used for the costume and these are the wings that I made for it as well. Um, I decided to go as a flower fairy and I wanted it to be a gold wing with the flowers. Now fairy wings are usually, um, they look a lot like an insect wing or a butterfly's wings. So I used that as inspiration as well as the um, illustrations of Brian Froud because I love the look of his fairy wings. This is the top wing that I'm drawing right now. Um, have a think about the size of the wings that you want um, when you draw these out. Usually there'll be a top wing and a bottom wing and sometimes there's a third wing um, in the center of the, the top and bottom, bottom wings. Now this is just an added detail, that little um, antenna thing at the top. It's sort of based on Brian Froud's designs, so I wanted to add that in as well. And this that I'm drawing at the moment is the bottom wing. I did draw the center wing, and in the end I actually decided not to use that wing. I felt that the top and bottom wing ended up being um, enough without having that middle wing as well. So once you've sketched out your design, go over it with some black texture and that really helps you solidify exactly where you're wanting the wire um, design to go. I did do, do those little scallops in the centre, sort of like an insect wing, but I decided actually not to use them in the end as well. So I used two types of wire, mainly the wire that I used um, was from the gardening section in Bunnings. Um, it was called Wire Pack. It was um, somewhere between a 12 and a 14 gauge wire, but it was a really strong wire, not too easily bendable, so it would add good structure. Um, you don't want it too soft or the wings won't hold and stay up on your back. So did, you might have seen I drew a line there at the base of the wing there and that's just um, to work out how they'll sit against my back. So that line is essentially um, where my back would be in relation to the wings. Now I'm going to use this electrical tape to attach all the pieces of wire together and you can see I've created a little circle there as the frame that will sit in the center of my back and that's where the wings will extend from. So I'm going to attach each part of the wings to this um, center point. So I did a combination of wrapping the wire around, um, which you do need to, to do to add some added, added strength and then wrapping that with the electrical tape as well and that just makes sure that it's strong and also that there's no jagged bits of wire sticking out. So you can see I'm just following the design that I've drawn there and to make it easier um, as I did each part I created um, both wings at the same time basically so that I could make sure that they stayed even. So once I do each um, piece of wire, I actually cut two of them and start attaching the ones to the other side virtually um, at the same time as I'm going through.
So here's the other side you can see now. And I'm just mimicking exactly what I did. And I find that it's easier to keep things even if you're doing it as you go, rather than creating a whole wing and then going on to do the other wing and trying to remember exactly how you put it together. Now you want some um, good wire cutters for this as well. I've got some that are fairly heavy duty. You should be able to pick those up from any hardware store. So each time I'm creating one of the sections of the wing, um, you can see I've got a bit of excess wire at the end of it and that's what wraps around that um, circle harness in the cent that will go in the centre of my back. And here I'm just making the duplicate piece um, that will go on the other side of the wing. So each time I um, create part of the design, I create two of them so that they're both exactly the same for each wing. And this takes a little bit of time, just, you know, moving the wire and adjusting it to that um, design, just to get it all, you know, where you want it, basically. So this is the first part, that's the two top wings done. Now I'm just going to spray that wire with some gold spray paint. You can spray this any colour you like, it just depends uh, what colour you want your wings. Now this bit that I'm attaching right here is those antennae um, type design things that go up the top of the wings. Um, again, if you have a look at Brian Froud's wings, he often has these as part of the wings and I just like the look of it. So I'm trying to um, incorporate that into my wings. This is the organza that I'm using. Now I got this from eBay. I think it was about um, $20 for this roll and it was more than I needed for these wings. I could probably make about five pairs of wings from this roll. 
Um, so I recommend, you know, jump on eBay and have a look to see what's available. Um, you can see I'm hot gluing this. Now, I'm doing this in an interesting way. I realized I could actually hot glue over the top of the organza and there was enough um, holes through there that the glue would go through it and attach to the wire underneath. Now, if you were struggling to make it do, the, do this um, by gluing on top, you could peel it back and glue um, underneath bit by bit. So, you know, peel it back, glue a little bit, attach the organza down and, you know, go along that way. Um, but, you know, organza is um, quite meshy and you may be able to do it exactly as I've done it here. And I'm just cutting the excess and I'm cutting sort of scallop shapes at the edge of the wings. Now there's a little bit of a flap of excess um, organza of course after I cut it off and I want to um, glue and fold that back over onto itself. And you can cut off any excess, um, it should be fairly strong and you can cut relatively close to that wire. I'm just using a little um, old metal clip thing to push the organza down over the glue because it is hot and I don't want to burn my fingers. So you might want to use say a little paddle pop or just some sort of utensil or something or other to um, push the organza down if you need to, to save burning fingers. It is really important too to hold the organza fairly taut as it's drying and make sure that it is in contact with the wire while it dries because um, otherwise it will come free and you may need to glue it down again. Um, it's yeah really important that it keeps in contact with the wire while it's drying. Again, I'm cutting those scalloped edges and this is um, the way I want my wings to look. So, you know, you could do it differently um, depending on how you're wanting your wings to look. But I find having a scallop between each of those um, structured parts of the wing, uh, it just looks really good and looks very insect or fairy like. So there's the top wings and now it's time to start making the bottom two wings. Now for these I'm going to do it a little differently. I'm not going to be attaching them directly onto the um, back harness. I'm just going to allow um, excess wire at the end and wrap it around that wire. So you can see um, the extra bit of wire that's sticking out at the end of the wing and each um, part of the wing I'm wrapping around that and at the end I'll be able to attach that to the harness. And although you don't see it in the footage here, as I cut each of those pieces of this wing, I'm doing the same thing in that I'm cutting duplicates for the other wing at the same time so that um, I can make sure each part of the wing is the same shape when I go to make the second wing. It just makes it a lot easier so that you're not struggling to make your second wing match the first wing.
So now it's time to put the organza over these wings as well and using the same method I'm hot gluing straight over the top of the organza and the glue can seep through and make contact with that wire. Once it's all dry, you can cut it away. Don't cut it while it's still drying though, it might come free otherwise. So again I flip it over um, and the excess organza um, where I cut it I'm just folding it back over the wire and um, so I probably cut about a centre, centi centimetre and a half maybe on the edge of the wire and I'm folding that um, part back over onto itself. Now I wrapped the ends of the two bottom wings together as you can see there and then I'm putting tape over those um, to join it all into one singular piece. That one singular piece can then be attached to the bottom of the harness and I'm actually using wire there to wrap that around it first to add some extra strength and then over the top of that wire again I'm going in with my um, tape to make sure that it is really strong. So there's the basic shape of the wings um, all put together. Now, of course, I don't want the black tape showing, so I am spray painting it with gold and I am also spray painting the glue because, um, you know, obviously you can see the glue where I've um, used it to attach the organza. And as long as you've kept it relatively neat, you can just um, make it look quite good just by spray painting it. Um, I do decide to go over the um, parts of the harness that I can wrap in ribbon and it just gives it a nice finished look rather than leaving the um, tape showing. So this is just um, a ribbon that I um, had on it on a roll and it's sort of a gold color and I'm using the hot glue and wrapping it over itself and up those um, antennae shapes as well. So just a little bit at a time, you know, gluing a little ways up and then wrapping. Now this is a closer look, you can see what it looks like. You can see that the glue does start to drip off. So just be really careful that you are over the top of something like cardboard or paper um, and that you are being careful with your fingers because that glue is very hot and it will burn your fingers if you touch it. If you're worried, you could always use some gloves while you do this part. And for the parts that I can't wrap, I've just gone over it with um, spray paint. So now that I've got the um, wings all put together, it's time to decorate them. And I am going for a flower fairy effect. So I am using different leaves and flowers um, to make the designs of the wings. I basically want to put all of the flowers at the base of each wing and have them sort of feather out to the um, middle of the wing. I'm also using um, some bits of gold lace. You've probably seen me use these in other tutorials. Um, any sort of lace and things like that 
um, or flowers can be used. It just depends on the design you're looking for and you know the colour scheme that you're looking for as well. I'm putting some little gold flowers on there as um, accents. And these are just some little hot pink flower, um, material flowers that I'm at attaching as well. And doing a light spray of gold spray paint I like to do things like that to really make everything gel together. Just having some um, unifying colour through each of the pieces really helps bring everything together. Uh, and you can see I haven't covered everything entirely, you can still see a lot of the colour. Um, I did just spill glitter on that too by the way if you're wondering. Um, I have a holographic glitter and it has stars in it so I'm using that it's quite a chunky glitter and it's um, really lovely and sparkly and I'm going in with that and then over the top I'm using an embossing glitter which is a gold tinsel glitter and um, that has a just a, a softer gold sparkle that's really nice and I wanted to uh, build out under these flowers a little bit further so I'm putting some more gold lace that I had on hand. Now this is a glitter glue that I got from Spotlight and it was only about three dollars. Any glitter glue um, will be suitable. I would recommend getting a nice big bottle of it though like this with an easy applicator tip and you just want to follow the lines of each of the um, pieces of wire. So I spray painted the other side if you remember and now it's been flipped over and you can see the silver wire so I'm just covering that silver wire with the glitter. Now after you've done that you absolutely will need to let it dry overnight. It um, takes a little while for it to really set and you don't want to move it around too much until it is dry. Um, but I was able to put just um, a bit of glitter on the edges as well while um, I'm at it and I'll let all of this dry. I'm using exactly the same glitter that I used on the rest of the wings which is that mixture of the gold tinsel embossing um, glitter and the other one is a mixture of glitter, it's got holographic bits in it, stars and other things that I got from Riot Art and Craft uh, but you know any glitter is fine, it just depends what you want to do there. So I decided to use these extra pieces of lace that I had um, and you can see that they work perfectly because they they sort of grow out from the center harness and out uh, along the wings and I just love that look so I've glued those on with hot glue and then I again go over that with that gold tinsel um, glitter Now I just wanted to add some little um, like tendril um, curls into those antennae things there and then at the um, end of them I'm gluing on some gold lace pieces and that just gives it a lovely um, look. Again I was inspired very much by Brian Froud's 
um, wings when I made this sort of design and that's what sort of influenced me to do this um, part of the design. Um, and now I'm just adding some extra gold, uh, sorry, extra flower lace pieces that I have in my stash. Um, it's actually um, from a singular piece of lace that I've cut up because it's um, got lots of little flowers in it. So you can definitely do that. You can, you know, um, use a piece of lace and cut sections out of it that you're wanting to use and then, you know, utilize those in the piece. So this is a close-up look. I am now just adding some of those um, little micro beads you can get that are in gold. And I'm putting, um, this is on the ends of those antennae again, um, and I'm doing the other side this time. So it is double-sided so that it'll look good from either um, angle that you see it. Now this lace piece is the same that I used for the wings and that keeps a consistency to the design. Again here's some additional little um, flower lace pieces that I'm adding into the design. I'm just scattering them around. And I am then topping it with the same glitter that I used before. So it's just a PVA um, craft glue that I'm using there. Now I've flipped the wings over once it all dried and I'm putting some designs on the other side as well. Now this is because I want you to be able to see um, you know, the flowers on both sides of the wings. So I want them to be seen from the back when you look at the wings and then from the sides if you're looking at me from the side. It's a very similar sort of design that I did on to the other side. Um, I'm using the same little lace pieces along the spines, uh, the same gold lace and a flower there as well. Now I'm topping it again with that same glitter. Now this is the bottom wing and I wanted to add a little bit of something to that as well and again keeping the same design happening so it is consistent. Um, I've used the gold lace, I've used the same little lace pieces that um, I had for those uh, bottom wings and the same glitter.
Now I need to put some elastic on of course so that I can attach the wings to my back. Um, and I've used this birch elastic. It's probably, um, I think it was a centimetre, centimetre and a half maybe thick. And see how I'm holding the elastic there? That's essentially how the wings are going to sit. So I want to make sure that I have about the right amount of elastic um, so that they will sit nice and tight on my back, which is about 30 centimetres or so. Um, and that allows a little bit of give for tying them on. And of course it stretches as well. So keep that in mind as well when you're working out the length. Now, all I did, to be honest, was just tie it in a knot um, onto the top and bottom of the wing. Of course, if you wanted to make it a little fancier, um, you know, you could sew it on perhaps. Um, I was happy enough having the knot and you couldn't see the end of it. Um, I just made sure that, you know, it was nice and, um, you know, the right size basically and trimmed up to the knot so you couldn't see it. And now I'm bending the wings into position. So um, I don't want them to stick straight up my back. I do want them to look a bit natural. And so I am bending them out so that they'll stick out a little bit more uh, like real wings. So you can see they sit very nicely on my back there. So this is the finished product. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Um, you can see I've got my fairy wand there, I've got my face paint and everything. Um, if you like my videos, I'd love you to subscribe. It'd be great to have you on board as part of the Craft Nerd family. Anyway, enjoy. See you Craft Nerds.